Hello friends, I am Professor Kiran Patil. Welcomes you in our YouTube channel, sharing the knowledge of agriculture. We have started this channel for spreading the conceptual and descriptive knowledge of agriculture. So friends, it is requested you please like, share, and subscribe my YouTube channel and give useful suggestions. Thank you. Today's our topic is. IPR that is intellectual property rights and plant breeders right. Let's start the video. What is IPR on intellectual property rights? They are the rights on an intangible property that is an outcome of human intellect is known as IPR. Intangible property means a property which is not physically seen or it is a legal right given to a person or inventor to become economically benefited from his invention and restrict others to use, multiply or sell that product or idea. Some forms of the IPR are primary rights and sui generic rights. In primary rights, copyrights, patents, trademarks, industrial designs, utility models, geographical indices or index, trade secrets, related rights, trade names, domain names are come. And under sui generic rights, database right, mass work, PBR that is plant breeders right, farmers right, moral rights and supplementary protection certificate. This comes under sui generic rights. Now the important type among these is PBR relevant to the agriculture field. So we will see the PBR that is plant breeders right in detail. Plant Breeders Right Program was established in 1987 under the Plant Variety Right Act (PVR), which was succeeded by the current Plant Breeders Right Act 1994. PBR also known as Plant Variety Rights and it is intellectual property rights granted to the breeder of the new plant variety such as patents, trademark and designs. The plant breeder rights gives exclusive commercial rights to a breeder for a registered variety of a plant. Now we will see some features of plant breeder's right. The first one is registration. The breeder must be registered for the plant breeder's right to getting the legal rights. Next is the duration. It is valid for 9 to 18 years for the trees and vines. 6 to 15 years for the field crops and again 6 to 15 years for the extant varieties. It is valid only in the country of registration. Then all the botanical genera and spices designated by the International Code of Nomenclature can be covered under the plant breeders right. To getting the rights, the new variety must be fulfilled the requirement like novelty and dust. The dust is distinctiveness, uniformity and stability. These three characters must be fulfilled to get in the regist registration of plant breeders right. Then authority of transfer. The breeder has right to authorize others for commercial production and marketing. Next is a right to prevent others from the infringement. Plant breeders right can be come to enforce immediately after registration. Then this act only protect the variety not standard breeding procedures to provide monopoly of a new plant variety for a limited period. Then gene sequences can be patented and variety can be protected under PBR. The protected varieties can be used to breed a new variety. Now we see which rights to be protected under PBR, the rights for commercial seed production, the rights for marketing, rights to export and import, rights to authorization and rights to prevent infringement. Under plant breeders right, there is a provision to have a legal action against a person who produces, sells, imports or exports any variety without the permission of the owner. 
infringes the right of owner. The infringement of any right under the plant varieties and farmers' right attracts both civil and criminal actions. A criminal action under the Act entails the punishment up to two years or a fine up to rupees five lakhs, or with the both. There are some exemptions of plant breeders right. Two persons are exempted. First one is a breeder and second is a farmer. The breeder's exemptions are the rights to plant breeder to use the protected material for the further research means the breeder can be used the new variety under the plant breeder right for the further research to produce a new variety. Next the farmer is exempted and having rights to save, use, share or sell or exchange his farm produce of protected varieties. Now, advantages of plant breeders right. As the variety is an invention of the breeder's knowledge, so the breeder must be benefited from its variety. Then it allows the fast development of seed industry then improvement in the quality due to the competition and the important is due to this the enrichment of genetic resources can be occurred. Some disadvantages of plant breeders right. It creates a monopoly of a plant breeder for a particular new variety. Then due to getting additional benefit it encourages the unhealthy practices by the breeder. Then it causes increase in the prices and reduction in the genetic variability. Again, it is also harmful to having compulsion to purchase the fresh seed every year. So friends, this is all about today's topic, intellectual property rights, patenting and plant breeders right. Hope you like the video. Your all suggestions are invited so we can make more and more knowledgeable videos for you all. Please don't forget to like and share the videos and subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you very much.